All right, welcome everyone to Phoenix Raceway, race two of the COT series. Michael Brown on pole for today's race alongside Cole Sampson. Here's the full qualifying results, and here is the race command. Drivers, start your engines! All right, engines fired up. We are ready to race, and gotta do something first hold on okay so we got ourselves here at old phoenix well actually this is the repave the first event back use the old the old surface when there was no dog leg then the second event was the yeah, new surface a little interesting there I guess but yeah we're using the new surface here instead of the old or I should call it the old old phoenix all right here we go getting ready to go green pace cars off here we go Green flag is waving, we're underway. Oh, trouble 56, really, really poor start. And there's something wrong with the fuel system there. Very slow. Still going here, but he's holding everyone up. He should come down pit road this time by. Let's see, oh, and the 88 gets turned. And now bring out the caution. It'll be the 32 car, Michael Brown taking the yellow flag. Alright, first caution of the day already. Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, let's see here. So, the 88, the yeah, OSP kind of aggressive here. He went low, the 56 went low, went back up high. 36 was there. Alex in a row who was the cause of the only caution in the previous race. And once again, he's involved in the first yellow, but this time on lap one. Go on board here with the 36. Yeah, the 88 was just trying to get by the 56, but if he was just a little bit more patient, board probably wouldn't have crashed. Yeah, just caused a big stack up. Let's go on board with the 46 car of a Jesse Menard. The third car collected. He was on the outside line going into turn three. And not much you can do there. Got damage on the front and back. But I don't think this would... Uh, take any, any, any of the three drivers out. Quite a bit of damage. But not too much. First caution of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green. All 42 cars remain on the racetrack here. All right, driver's going to line up. Double file. Pace cars off. Here we go. Green flag is waving. Back on our way. 97 just edged out the 32. He leads the lap. Three wide for third here. The 37 with a great restart. See if he can get that spot. There goes the one. Down on the dog leg. Thought he was going to make it four wide there for a second. And the 97 is clear. Got that outside line. Big run off the top. Here comes the 29 through the middle. That's Brandon Wilcox. Gonna take the lead away. Left the 97 can really rocks it rocks it in there hard. Wow. Got a lot of momentum off the top. He just dove it in there and he made it work. 
almost a th three and a quarter second lead just from that move alone. Yeah, everyone's wondering like, how the hell did he get away so quick? Well, the 21's gonna do the same, but he got a crash at the back. Big run off the top, and he's gonna take the lead. Nathan Orman to the front. Nabs the yellow right at the last second. Whoa. That outside line. It's really overpowered, isn't it? Never seen that before here at the Phoenix. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Okay, so Tony Green and the 42 was the one that got wrecked. Looks like the 34 O'Connor Breen gets in that left quarter panel, turns him around, spins him out, backs him in the wall pretty hard, keeps on going. But it was enough to bring out the yellow. So go on board here with Connor Breen. Yeah, he was going down to the dog leg. Trying to make the pass on the 42. This comes up a little bit. Enough to spin him out. So it was an aggressive move by the 34. A little too aggressive. Pretty sure Green is not going to be happy about that one. Alright, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright. So Nathan Orman is 21. He is our race leader. A power move by both Orman and Cole Sampson. Puts him 1 and 2. That could be the race winning move today. 29, O'Brien Wilcox, Michael Brown, followed by Josh Harmon and Carson Manning. Alright, pace car is off. Here we go. Green flag is waving. We're back underway. Three wide again for the 37. Getting these good restarts, but can't complete the pass. Gonna try it again. There's Dick Hershey in the 33, Daytona winner. Let's see if he can make it two in a row. The 32 car, Michael Brown, back to second. Yeah, that low line sucks here at Phoenix. Well, at least in three and four. One and two is okay. Three wide still. Oops. Back to our leaders here. Brown had that run, but the 97 shut the door on him. 29 car in third. Looking for second. Around the outside, the 97 drifts up. Trying to hang on. Ooh. Almost wrecked. Just trying real hard to hang on to that race lead. Couldn't quite do it there. Well, here we go again. That big power move on the top line. I don't know how they're doing that. But they're doing it. 97 back to the top spot. There's the 83, Max Anderson. He's in the mix. Around the outside once again, sliding up. Anderson takes the lead. We usually don't get many lead changes at Phoenix. Especially this version. But today is a different story. Yeah, we had many races here where the pole sitter leads all the laps. But not the case today. Here's a 78, Josh Harmon in the top five, now up to third.
One minute to 21, has dropped to 7th. Carson Manning is down to 8th. Daytona winner Nick Hershey's in 10th. Got a little bit of ground to make up. Anderson in the 83, still the leader. And the 78 gonna send it down to the bottom. He wants to take the top spot. Got a car on the apron there, don't know who that is. 21, oh, it's Nathan Orman. Oh, watch out, the six. Orman in the 21 in trouble. He has a mechanical issue. Don't know the exact problem yet, but it is mechanical. Here's the 27 to the low side. Side by side here. Caution's out. Yep, caution is out. All right, third caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, so this wreck happened within the top 20. You can see it's a five-way battle. Well, it looks like they're going four wide. 38 got a little too close to that two car. Another wreck coming into turn three. So spins him out. Hard impact with the back end once again. No, uh, no one else collided with him, luckily. But then we had more wrecks, the 1 and the 22, go around as well. The other part of that battle, let's see. The 24 and the 22 got together, checking up for the wreck. We end up getting taken out in their own separate incident. So it was Ryan Butcher and Sam and Ozcan, those two. Now this time I'm going to wreck in turn 4. Uh, yep, so far all the crashes and the cautions have happened coming into turn three. But another minor crash. Don't think anyone's going to be out of this one. I'll take you back to the restart. Okay, getting ready for the restart. So Nathan Norman is still on the track, it looks like, but he's a lap down. Looks like it was a major mechanical failure. So Anderson, Ibrahimen. Brown, Manning, Samson, Harmon, Hershey, Wilcox, Mew, and Curtis. Your current top 10. Gonna be 11 laps to go when they take the green flag. Green flag is waving and big jump there for the 27. That might have been a penalty there back in 2011. But not here. Because it's okay to pass on the outside line. Trying to get it back, the 83 car. But he's going to be on that low side in the turns 3 and 4. And here's the 37. Around the top this time in second. Twenty-nine making a move for sixth place. Thirty-two also for third. The thirty-seven has caught up with the twenty-seven. Saw him aggressive on those restarts, but just couldn't quite do it. Now he's in a much better spot. In second place, battling for the race lead. Right on the back end of the 27 car. And here comes the 83. He's caught up to those two. Max Anderson. Three-way battle for the race win. For the race lead. Not win yet. So the pack has closed up on the leaders a, a bit.
Manning on the top. 27 gonna slide up, hold that line. Through the middle, three wide. Three wide for the race lead. Harrison down low, not quite side by side. And he falls back a bit. Gets that run off the top side. He'll get away for now. Laps are winding down. I believe it was Ibrahim who finished fourth, was so close to making it a 1 2 3 finish. There, but right now he is in position to give RCR a 1 2 finish. Or, not a 1 2 finish, uh, two wins in a row. 33 and 29 aren't too far back either. I know it's super early to say, but the RCR cars look super strong. Running well once again. Going to be two laps to go. Coming to the line. Six tenths of a second lead right here. Oh, look at that power move. There he goes. Anderson in the 83. Going to close up that gap just like that to the inside. Looking for the lead. Bottom line is better in one and two. But if they can't clear, they'll just get beat in three and four. Side by side, gonna let the others catch up a little bit. But we're coming to the white flag. Here we go. White flag is out. One more lap to go here at Phoenix. Ibrahim gets away. But can Anderson make that move again? Or can anyone else? I don't know, they're just too far back to make anything happen. In the three. Chuckered flag is out. And Dylan Eberheim will hang on and win it here at Phoenix. There's the rest of the field. And all right. Race is complete. Let's take a look at the full race results. All right, there you have it. Dylan Ibrahim hangs on and wins here at Phoenix. Max Anderson second. Carson Manning third. Nick Hershey fourth. Cole Sampson fifth. Michael Brown sixth. Josh Harmon seventh. Uh, Theodore Ben, I think, or no. Or the 47 team eighth. Uh, Christian Bracken ninth. And Brandon Wilcox tenth. Here's the rest of the race results. So for the second race in a row, all 42 drivers finished the race, but Nathan Orman did not finish on the lead lap. So he becomes the first driver not to this season. So a uh, pretty calm Phoenix race. Uh, had a few wrecks, nothing too serious. Then uh, discover something super new with that outside line. My God, they're just like, it's like a speed boost. Like in the Mario Kart or something. But anyways, that is it here today at Phoenix Raceway. Dylan Eberheimen is the race winner. Let's take you to victory lane.